<clears throat> okay, unit three, day three. This is the last video for this unit. So that means we're testing next time. We're not going to have a review day for this unit. So you need to be aware of that. We are testing next time. Like not, not the day we do this assignment, but the next. Okay. Um, so solving word problems. The first step, define a variable. So use let statements. And we'll get more into those, those let statements in a second. Second is to set up the equation and solve, and then define your answer. So if it's asking for, like, feet or whatever, you have to define that. Let's just go through some word problems. So we're finding two numbers. The larger of two numbers is four more than the smaller number, and the sum of the numbers is 74. So I'm just going to circle what I know. So the larger of two numbers is four more than the smaller number. I need to change that into a number sentence somehow. Then I also know that the sum of the numbers is 74. And remember, sum is with addition. Sum is with addition. Product is with multiplication. Okay, that's not a bad, bad thing to write down. I would write that down. So sum, addition, product, multiplication. Now this is where our let statements are going to come into play. So we're going to let x equal the smaller number. And then this sentence says the larger of two numbers is four more than the smaller number. So we're going to let x plus 4 equal the large number, okay? And then we're going to use the sum of the numbers is 74 to set up our sentence. So we have x plus x plus 4 equals 74. Okay, I didn't mean to put that 74 in green. But so x, the small number, plus the larger number, x plus 4, equals 74. Then I'm going to solve this. x plus x is 2x plus 4 equals 74. Subtract the 4 over, 2x equals 70, divide by 2, x equals 35. So that means the small number is 35, the large number is 35 plus 4, which is 39. Okay, so I defined those terms, the small number is 35, large number is 39. Okay. Let's go to example C. So the Denver Broncos scored 24 more than twice the number of points than the New Eng that the New England Patriots scored. Altogether, the team scored 66 points. We need to see how much did each team score individually. The person who wrote this is obviously a Broncos fan. <laughs> but, okay, let's go through this. So I'm going to circle what I know. So the Denver Broncos scored 24 more points than 20 more than twice the number of points. That's a sentence right there that I need. And then the team scored 66 points together. So I'm going to let x equal the Patriots score because they are the lower score here. So they're going to be the x. Okay, the lower score or the lower number, whatever it may be, that should always be just your x. And then we're going to let the Broncos be, so it's twice the number of points. So that's 2 times x, and it was 24 more than twice that. So it's 2x two, two plus 24. Okay. Altogether, it equals 66. So I'm just going to have x plus 2x plus 24 equals 66. And then you just solve this. x plus 2x is 3x plus 24 equals 66. Subtract the 24 from both sides. 3x equals 42. Divide by 3, x equals 14. So that means that the Patriots scored 14 points. And the Broncos scored 2 times 14 plus 24. So I just plugged that 14 in for that x. 2 times 14 is 28 plus 24. That is 52 points. So that final score of the game ended up being Patriots 14 points, Broncos 52 points. Okay. Now let's do these perimeter ones. So the length of a rectangle is 6 inches more than the width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 24 inches, find its dimensions. So we have that the length is 6 inches more than the width, and the perimeter is 24. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to label it. So I'm going to label x as my width, because it's the smaller one. I'm going to label that. And then my length is x. It's 6 inches more, so it's x plus 6. Now, remember, I'm going to write on here real quick. So if this is x plus 6, that means this is also x plus 6. If that left side is x, the right side is also x. So we have two x's there, and we have two x plus 6's. 
So if we're finding the perimeter of this, that's going to go away. You can do 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 6, and it gives us the perimeter is 24. Okay, so you're just going to multiply those two. That's the same thing as adding x plus x plus 6, x plus 6 plus x plus 6. Okay, distribute. So you get 2x equals, or 2x plus 2x plus 12 equals 24. Then that's 4x plus 12 equals 24. Subtract that 12 over. You get 4x equals 12, which divide by 4, x equals 3. So that means the width is 3 inches. The length is 3 plus 6 inches, so that's 9 inches. Okay, let's do one more. The length of a rectangle is 3 centimeters less than twice its width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 18, find its dimensions. So those are the two things I need to know. I'm going to label this. First, my width is x. It's the smaller one, so it's x. And the length is 3 centimeters less than twice the width. So twice the width, that's where you get that 2x. 3 centimeters less, that's where you get that minus 3. Then I'm just going to set up my equation. So I have 2 times x plus 2 times 2x minus 3 equals 18. Distribute, you get 2x plus 4x minus 6 equals 18. 2x plus 4x is 6x. Minus 6 equals 18. Add the 6 over. 6x equals 24. Divide both sides by 6, x equals 4. So that means my width is 4 centimeters. My length is 2 times 4 minus 3. So 2 times 4 is 8, minus 3 is 5. So my length is 5 centimeters. Okay, pretty straightforward. Hopefully you're getting this. Let's look at this. So what does consecutive mean? Consecutive just means one after another. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's just consecutive. So consecutive numbers would just be one, two, three, four, five, six. And a way you can write that is x and then x plus one, x plus two, x plus three, x plus four, x plus five, and it keeps going like that. Consecutive even numbers. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So if you say x is 2, to get to 4, you add 2. From 4 to 6, you add, or from 2 to 6, you add 4. So you go x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, x plus 8, x plus 10, blah, 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 keep going. Odd numbers, same thing. So it's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, keep going. So that's going to be x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6. And you just keep going that way. Okay. So let's use that information to find the sum of consecutive numbers. So it says find the sum of two consecutive numbers, or sorry, it says the sum of two consecutive numbers is 123. We have to find those numbers. So these are just consecutive numbers. So I'm going to let x be the first number, and I'm going to let x plus 1 be the second number. Then I'm just going to make this into a sentence. So I have x plus x plus 1 equals 123. Then x plus x is 2x, plus 1 equals 123. Subtract that one over, I get 2x equals 122. Divide by 2, I get x equals 61. So that means 61 is my first number, 62 is my second number. And I'm just going to write that as a solution set. Okay? So find two consecutive even numbers whose sum is 54. So I'm going to let x be the first one, I'm going to let x plus 2 be the second one. So then that's x plus x plus 2 equals 54, which is 2x plus 2 equals 54. Subtract the 2 over. You get 2x equals 52. Divide by 2, you get x equals 26. So that means the first number is 26. The second number is 28. So I'm just going to write that as a solution set, 26, 28. Okay. Remember to take the quiz. I will see you guys tomorrow.